Hello YouTube, welcome to this video. Um, in today's episode I'm going to be showing you how to configure a virtual box machine for installation of, uh, well post installation, post, no it's not post installation, before installation of Peppermint OS 6. So what you want to do is open up your virtual box and then you'll be greeted with this screen. So you click on new and type in whatever you want to um, call your virtual machine. I'm going to call it Peppermint. <coughs> and then you want to go to the type drop down, click Linux, and then the version drop down. You want to select Debian 32 bit or 64 bit because Peppermint OS is based off of Debian. So then you want to hit next. And now this bit is where you're going to allocate uh, RAM to your machine. So 1024 is a gig, or 2048 is 3 gig, uh, 2 gig. So you can use a slider here to select uh, the RAM that you want. I'm going to select 2 gig because I have 6 gig of RAM installed. So once you're happy with the RAM, you uh, hit next. And then you want to, this is where you're going to create the hard drive. So create virtual hard drive now, you want to click that. Then click create. Leave VDI selected. Next, you want to select dynamically allocating. Next. And then here's where you're going to set the limit for your hard drive. So you can set whatever you want within your, um, your, um, uh, amount of hard drive space that you have I'm going to select 15 gig 15 gig and then press enter so that is all done I don't think that has That hasn't. Right. Try that again because that hasn't made the hard drive. You see, this is what can happen with um, virtual box, and this is what happens when you don't edit videos. Because I don't edit my videos, I let you see what happens real time and the problems that we will encounter. Right, two gig. Yep, yep, yep. And then fifteen. Right, there we go. That's now fifteen. Uh, then you want to go to settings after you've done all that. Go to system, processor. Uh, select how many cores of your processor you want to give it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend giving it over two cores if you've got a four, uh, quad core processor. If you've got dual core, just leave that slider alone. Now display, you want to give it full display memory and enable 3D acceleration. Now you want to come down to storage, click on empty and then um, when you've got your ISO downloaded, which I haven't, you want to press on this button and uh, point the computer towards your ISO image and then just press OK. So that is it, that's all you've got to do to set up your Peppermint OS VirtualBox uh, ready for installation in the next episode of Peppermint OS and in the next episode I will also do a short review of Peppermint OS for you. So thank you very much for watching, uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, thumb the video up if you liked it and I will see you for another brilliant Technical Linux 2015 video. Goodbye.